Brian Chinaman here, and today I have a special video for you. A lot of people have asked in the past about decorating uh, china cabinets and cupboards, and I did a video on a cupboard before and, and even a hutch as well, and those were very popular videos. But I have another opportunity here, so I thought, why not take a video of it? So a friend of a friend was moving, and uh, she no longer uh, could keep her, her hutch. And she told her friend, who was the common friend between us, and he said, wait a minute, I know a fine China man. Uh, perhaps he would like your hutch. And she wanted to uh, donate it to somebody. So he called me and said, hey, could you use another hutch? Uh, many of you have seen the video about my uh, butler's pantry going away in the past. That was a few years ago. Since then, a lot of my uh, china has had to be stored in either cupboards that uh, cannot be um, enjoyed through glass or also just in boxes. So um, let's take a look at the um, pattern that I want to put in this hutch here. I'm going to walk you through how I go ahead and do that step by step and also some of the challenges that this particular piece has for the pattern that I want to store in it. So if you see right here, you'll see the pattern I have. This is uh, Dresden Flowers by Schumann and it's a beautiful pattern. I have lots of pieces in it and basically the thing about it is that I want to get the maximum view that I can out of this china cabinet as well as be able to use it without having the china cabinet look empty. So that's what I'm going to be accomplishing today. First of all, I'm going to put the pieces out on the table and then we're going to start putting it in. So let's get going. Okay, so you can see all the stuff I have laid out on the table. There's a lot to fit in this hutch. Let me talk about the couple challenges that are going to be faced with using this hutch. And if you have a hutch, you're probably going to have challenges as well. They're all a little different and what you're trying to put in them is different. So let's see what we can do with it. First problem is that these shelves are not the full depth of the hutch. There's about an inch, inch and a half extra here that the shelves could be deeper. So with the amount of china that I have to put in, every inch helps. I still think we can do it. The other thing is there's no cut in the glass, a slit back here that would allow us to stand plates up. So this is what I bought. This is the only expense I really had with this hutch. I bought some felt pieces to go back here to uh, put on the glass so that I could stand plates up. Let me give you an up and down view of the hutch. And then I have a charger plate and a dinner plate that I have to decide which one I want to put in the hutch as the background uh, is the main background through the shelving. So let's take a look. Got a glass shelf there, another glass shelf, another glass shelf, and then the wood one at the bottom. I'm going to be relying on that wood one, I hope, for some dinner plates. Now, just a disclaimer, I have not tried to fit this in. I want this to be a real-time experiment with me filling this hutch and you. So I'm not going to check it until I'm moving along. So, and then down here, two drawers and two small cabinets. So that is what I have to work with, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So let's try the two different looks, uh, the dinner plate and the charger plate. Okay, so here I have the two plates. This is a charger plate of Dresden, and this is a specialty um, dinner plate, and a um, variant, we call it, uh, that I happen to come across. Very rare variant. I've only seen uh, a plate like this for sale one other time, and I got a bunch of these. So uh, we could use either. Uh, usually charger plates are bigger, but these are about the same size uh, with this variant dinner plate. If I had gotten dinner plates that were from this exact um, background for Dresden flowers, they would have been a tiny bit smaller. So let's see which one looks better. So one possibility is I've got this in the back and that looks very, very nice. I like it. Let's try the other one. Okay, now I actually think that the first one looks better in this hutch. However, I'm gonna have a lot of other pieces with this design around. So I'm thinking right now I'm gonna go for the variant, but I might change it later. While I'm here, let's make sure that these will fit in the bottom shelf. I don't know if they will. They will not, so the door will not close. So this is going to be uh, probably the biggest challenge of this. Uh, I need to see if it will fit in the cabinets below. I really don't think so. 
Um, I gotta go get the key. I'll be right back. So as you can see, the plate just sticks over just about an inch. If that um, molding wasn't there in the back, it'd probably just barely fit. But since it's not, let's just see. I don't think this is gonna fit either down here. Oh, it does. What do you know? It does. That's wonderful. So as you can see, it fits down in there. Let's see if the charger will fit as well, because the charger is the one that will probably be down there more than the dinner plate. Although I have more dinner plates than I'll be able to put up here. The charger does fit. So I'm going to go ahead and move all the chargers down to this section. And I have a dozen of these charger plates. So here they are. I'm going to go ahead and take this one back out since I have paper towels between them. Always put paper towels or foam between the plates to keep them in really nice shape. Okay, so to put this in, I'm going to do um, a couple of them at a time so that I can put them in at an angle. Okay, so now it's time to get the uh, plates up in the top section. Okay, so now let's go ahead and we're gonna put at least six of the dinner plates up right now. We may add a couple more on the bottom later, but we're gonna at least start with those six because I wanna make sure we've got a good backdrop for the other pieces that we're gonna put in here. So I'm gonna get out some of this stuff here. So here's one of these. And I'm gonna go ahead and peel one off. And I'm gonna take my plate I'm going to place it up here where I want it, about right there, and then I'm going to press this down, and I'm off-center a little bit here, and the reason I'm off-center is I'm going to do two of these per plate, because I don't want this plate coming down. So I'm going to do two per plate, if one gives way, the other one should catch it. Okay, so I press those down. So now I've got the plate like that. Make sure that you get it where it doesn't want to roll with the rib, with the um, ruffled edges. And so there we go. There's our first one. I'm going to fast forward now and put up these others for you really fast. Okay, so we've run into another problem. As you can see, uh, this plate will not stand up all the way. I could make it stand up there. But I'm not real, I don't really like that because I'm losing so much more space. It really needs to push back another half inch or so. so I'm going to hold off putting in that one. I'm going to check this one below and see if it's the same problem. It may very likely be. It's not. It works. So I'm going to go ahead. Well, not really. No, it is the same problem. Maybe not quite as bad. So I'm going to set this down here. And we're going to move on and see what else we can do um, with, uh, with this. So I've got this extra space right here. I want to go ahead and fill this in. So I'm going to choose a, um, a salad plate. I have two different choices here. I can take this salad plate, which is a rare flower in the pattern. This one is not in. A lot of the other pieces it's a few places I could put it there between which that looks nice but I also could I've got the chateau version salad plates as well which might be even better so I could use one of these instead let's see um, I think I'm gonna go with this one this time I might use the chateau one as an accent piece later so let's go ahead and let's put this in the front here. There we are. So now I have the backdrop of the first shelf. Let's go ahead and put stuff in the shelf now. Um, I have these really neat compotes that I would like to use, but I don't want to put them up here because you won't be able to see the decorative stuff in them. They should be down in this shelf, at worst case, this shelf. So we'll come back to those. I do have some cups and saucers that need to go in here and some soup bowls. So let's see what looks good. So I've got cups and saucers. And I have a teapot sugar and cream, or, or coffee pot sugar and creamer, excuse me. Put that right in front of that plate. 
Let's get the sugar in the creamer. I like to point the creamer the same way as the spout. These are one of, some of the only pieces that are Empress in this pattern. I don't like Empress as well personally. I'm sorry if you're, you prefer Empress. It does have more of a ruffled edge, which is nice, but the flowers are not quite as bright is what I've found. So I prefer the other pieces. Uh, these were my mother's, so that's why I have these in this form. Everything else, she didn't have any more to set. Everything I bought, I either bought a variant or I bought the old Dresden flowers. Let's go ahead and put some of these uh, cups and saucers out here so that uh, we can have a nice area of cups and saucers up here. Kind of make the tea set part of it. So I'm going to do them in stacks of two. And to do this, I have these paper towels between them, but I'm going to fold them so you don't see them because those were just in a cabinet before, like that. And now I'm going to put those two cups right there. So I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to come get... All right, so I actually got down through the second shelf, all done, and then I realized my camera had stopped recording. So uh, I took everything back out where it stopped to that point, and so I'm going to go ahead and go back over it with you, uh, my thought process and what I was doing. So I had gotten these two cups and saucers up and I would gotten the two additional ones I was just getting. I originally set them right here, but I have five cups and saucers total right now, I'm hoping to get the last three at some point. But for right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move them over and I'm gonna put the last cup and saucer right in between here. So I've kind of got a triangle shape. And then I have a little bit of space left right here, and I have some really nice uh, butter pats for this set, very rare. Got uh, five of them as well. And so I'm gonna put them right in here. And that pretty much finishes off my top uh, shelf. If I had a very small vase, I could put it back in the corner, but I don't have that piece. So this is probably gonna be where we stop may go back and adjust a little bit at the end. Let's do the next one. On this one, I decided that the chateau plates, the salad plates, would look great along here. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And I have, uh, I have um, six of these chateau plates with um, three different patterns. So one of the patterns had to be repeated. So I'm gonna put the first one here, which I've already put the felt down for. And then, I grabbed a different one for the other end and I'm going to put it right here. Now as far as the other two, this one is another different one and so I'm going to put it next to the duplicate so I don't have two that are next to each other that are the same. And now this is that extra one that's going to be the same as the first one I put in. But you can notice you can get a little bit different shape of a, or type of a flower pattern by turning it. So I'm going to turn this one over upside down and I'm going to put it right here. And it's important when I space these out without a tape measure, I did the two at the ends first and then I filled in the two at the center so I could get it spaced out really well eyeballing it without having to get out a tape measure. Okay, so now the next thing is I want to go ahead and fill in this shelf. The main thing I want on this shelf is the soup bowls, but I can put stuff under the soup bowls. So what I decided to do was get three out of my eight standard salad plates. I have a ninth salad plate up here that we used, it's slightly different size, but I used it because it has that uh, more unique flower that you don't see as often, probably produced at a different time. So I'm going to take these three and I'm going to put them right here. And what this does is it doesn't cover up the, the um, pattern, but at the same time, it also allows me to have a little bit of support here. If these were to come falling down, this is gonna stop them or at least slow them way down. I then put a soup bowl on top of that, like that. So now I'm gonna mimic the same thing on the other side. There we are. I have two more 
because of having eight of those salad plates. So I'm gonna put them in the middle. Now I've got a little bit of room left on this, on this piece here, and I have more soup bowls, which I'm gonna to have to deal with, but we'll get to those when we need to get to them. Uh, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna put a couple decorative things here. So I'm gonna take these beautiful nut dishes that I have here, and I'm not gonna take the time to um, make the um, paper between them or foam between them uh, small enough to where you don't see them. I can do that later off camera. But I'm just gonna put them right here. So that looks really nice. And then I'm going to take my first of two compotes that I have that I wanna display. It's actually that same rare flower that this piece is up here. I've got two or three pieces with this uh, purple flower. Uh, at the top here. So I'm going to put that on this side over here. Like that. And that's going to finish off this shelf for now. We may have to come back and adjust things a little bit. But this is where we want to be. Uh, I'm going to move the camera now so that we can go down to the next two shelves. And also the other cabinet at the bottom, I want to go ahead and get some dinner plates put away down there. Okay, so I might regret this later, but I have probably my favorite piece in this, this really neat bowl that I would like to have right here to where you can really see it. What I need to do is I need to put some type of holder on it. I could put the felt. This is pretty heavy though. I really don't want to put the felt on it. So I have down here several uh, plate holders that are left over from before that I haven't used uh, in a long time. I'm going to try this one here to see if it will fit on here. I don't think it will. Mm, probably not. Let's see. I think it will really have to be open if I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's too much. So let's try this one here. This one looks like it might work. Okay, so let's put this in here. Oh, it's just a little too tall. Oh wait, no it's not. There we go. What do you know? Right there, just a tiny little bit of clearance there. Hardly anything. Okay, so that looks really good. So now I need to put some stuff around this and I need something else decorative on this side that's going to accent as well. Let me grab that. Okay, so I've got several items here. I'm going to set these down here so I can get them easily to show you. All these will not fit, but some of them will. In fact, I'll go on this side this time here. Okay, so let's see what we got. I've got this really nice uh, compote. I think I'm going to put that, um, well, I'll come back to that in a minute. I have this. It, which is the third one of those with the purple flower and then I've got this one here both of these chateau bowls so let's see what we can do with the chateau bowls that is not good that's not going to work try this chateau bowl when they get too close like that you don't want to use them so neither of those will work uh, this one may work okay so let's close this up a bit When you have something like this, you can sometimes put it in a corner. Eh. There, oh, that looks better. Okay. So that may work, so we'll, we'll give it a try. Um, I can go ahead and put something else in the background here. So let me show you what else I have here I'm thinking of. This little dish and this little dish. In fact, I think I will go ahead and put them in front of this bladder over here on this side, both of them. Okay, so we'll do that for now. And then I need something back here in the back. So let me go look and see what else I have because that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Okay, so I have two more of the Chateau plates that I could always use here. I'm gonna set them aside for a second. And I've got a platter. Now the platter would fit in here just fine. 
Um, in fact, I think that's what I'm going to do, even though this is definitely not my favorite piece. Um, this is my least favorite of the variants that I have. I have some soup bowls that match it as well, as well as a, um, I have a couple, a couple of covered vegetables and a couple gravy boats. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use this. I'm going to uh, put in the felt for it. Put it right like that. If this holds, this is a pretty strong piece. I think I'm going to put one more cut in the middle here. It's not going to get full pressure, but it will help. Okay, so now um, what I think I'll do is I'm going to put my compote up here. I really like that right there like that and then I think as a way to um, make it stronger and I'm not really crazy about leaving that fully visible I'm gonna put my cereal bowls there I've got some really nice cereal bowls I am gonna fix these though real quick so that they um, they look okay stacked because they have some extra paper towels between them that they really shouldn't have. And that's going to help hold this up as well. Okay, so um, this is pretty good. We're going to go ahead and stop with this shelf for now, and then we'll move on and, and see what else we can get done here. All right, so now I'm going to take care of the other decorative dinner plates I have. I'm going to put them on the other side. Okay, there they are. Put the extra towels on top just in case I need some more. I have this area on top of this that I can use for something else. And I've got just the item for that. Let me grab it. Okay, I've got this, um, this bowl here. Again, from my least favorite variant, I don't really want to display it off, so I'm going to put it in here and I move it over like that. I might be able to get a gravy boat in. I have two of these. I would like to display one, not the other. Let's see if it'll fit. I don't think so. No, it's not going to fit. But I think there is something smaller I can fit in there that I have. Um, we'll go ahead and set these gravy boats aside for a few moments. And we'll go ahead and uh, keep going. Actually, you know what? I can use one of them right now. I'll put it on the other side here on top of the charger flitz. There we are. So now we just have one gravy boat to worry about. I'm going to start with my biggest thing, these, these uh, rim soup bowls. I'll go ahead and put them in on this side, basically touching over here as close as I can. And then on the other side, I want my covered vegetable and I want it to be a little up higher than down below because there's the board in the door so I want it to be raised up a little bit. Unfortunately the only things I have big enough left are these two real decorative plates. I'm going to go ahead and use them. I hate to do that because they could be on display somewhere but it is what it is. So I'm going to put them over here like this I'm going to move it all the way over to the edge. So there that is. So now um, I want to go ahead and get as many of these soup bowls in here as possible. So I've got a stack of dessert plates with one soup bowl on top of it. I'm going to go ahead and put that over here. And then uh, we may have to adjust that a little bit. I've also got um, a cream soup with two saucers here. And you say two? Why two? Well, because I'm going to put one here. In fact, I think I'll move this back. And then I'm going to put the smaller bread plates right in front there. And they have one just soup bowl on top. The saucer won't fit on top because it'll be too small. And a little bit more space, almost. And I'm going to move these just a tiny bit should fit. There we are. I think that's going to make it fit. Yep, just barely. 
Yep, so there we go. Now, something I noticed here, if I take these out for a moment, I really like it like that, but I'm trying to fit everything in here and make it look nice. So I'm gonna put a soup bowl here, and I'm gonna put another soup bowl, which will be the last one. I won't have any more soup bowls left to deal with of these clean soups. So I'll put it like that. And then I'm gonna put the, um, try the bigger of the two. Nope, I'll do the smaller of the two. These little bonbon dishes. Put it right there like that. Actually, it's upside down. Right like that. And now I'm left with one Chateau bowl, this plate from uh, this other Empress plate that I don't really like, this little bonbon in Chateau, the other gravy boat, and this set of plates. I'm gonna check down here and see if these sets of plates will fit here. I don't know they won't. Okay, they will not. But this little bonbon will. This will fit right here in this cupboard. Hate to not have it on display, but it is fine right there. So now I've got these little plates and the gravy. Let's see, we have got two drawers left we don't have anything in. I'm gonna put in one of the drawers this decorative bowl. Although, you know what I could do? I could try. I'm doing this right here with you. I could take these out of here and I could move them to the drawer. I don't really like these as well anyway. And we have cream soups, so those all fit in that drawer just like that. This drawer, I could put the rest of them in. Plus, I could put this little Empress piece in. Now I've only got three things left here. I've got the nice chateau bowl. I've got this, and I've got those those sets of uh, that variant small plate. So I'm going to move these over here like this, and I'm going to move these over here, I think. And what I would like to do is get this all to fit here. So I'm going to put the gravy boat right here. I'm going to put these back here. All right, now all I have is that one bowl left. But you know what? I think there is room for this now. I'm going to bring this back out, put it right here. Uh, I know it's not going to quite close. That's too bad. How can I make that fit? Uh, perhaps I can make it fit up here. Uh, let me show you what I'm going to do with that. Okay, so what am I going to do with this? Well, I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to take these nut dishes out, and I'm going to put this dish right here. And I'm going to put the nut dishes, um, I'm going to split them. I'm going to put four right here, and I'm going to put four right here. There we go. Now, all I have left is one piece. One piece left. Okay, so the last piece is this bowl. I have fit everything else that was on my table in except for this one bowl. Now, I could try to do something like that, but it's not going to look right. I could bring this forward here and put the bowl right here. And I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But I have to put my felt in. So let me grab some felt. There we are. So now I've got that bowl there like that. And now I'll bring back up these, these two soup things, uh, these soup, soup bowls.
you notice, I decided to add one extra charger plate after I told you it was done to the back. I didn't have any of the charger plates on display and there was just kind of an empty spot back there in the back of the bottom shelf. So I went ahead and added that there. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.